Dharma doesn't demand that we keep our nose to the grindstone 24-7. And taking time out for fun with family and friends is also part of the true path. The Cape Town International Kite Festival is an opportunity to do so. And here's what can happen when you let hope fly. Musenberg, which is affectionately known as Surface Corner, plays host today to one of Africa's oldest and biggest festivals. The Cape Town International Kite Festival is celebrating 25 years of flying. This year, in support of Cape Mental Health, the theme is Let Hope Fly, and I cannot wait to see the designs on display today. Kite making and kite flying has long been practiced in India and is celebrated during certain festivals. This year, the Kite Mental Health Organization is using kites as a means to create awareness around suicide prevention as it celebrates its 25th anniversary. Dr. Ingrid Daniels, as the president for the World Federation of Mental Health, what does your role entail? Our focus for the next two to three years will be on universal health coverage for all. Interestingly, only 50% of people have access to mental health care. In low and middle income countries, 75 to 85% of people have no access to mental health. And we as the World Federation for Mental Health believe that if we can provide access, we will give people the hope of recovery to live fully integrated lives as equal citizens in their own countries. Professional kites from seven countries are attending this year's event and Suraya is representing Zimbabwe on behalf of her organization Kites for Peace. Suraya, what does your organization Kites for Peace represent? A Kites for Peace is a movement for inner peace and we aim to inspire joy and compassion and community involvement through the act of kite flying. This year's theme is Let Hope Fly. Let Hope Fly is very apt. When you fly a kite, you're looking up. When you're looking up, you're hopeful. When you fly a kite, there's no borders. So we're one sky and one world. With the option to bring your own kite, purchase one or make your very own. I think I'm gonna go with the latter. I'm gonna head on in. Hello, thank you so much. Let's see what we have here. Awesome, I've got everything I need, but I think I need some help. Ah, Hi. perfect timing. Hi. So first we're gonna lay out the kite itself. Okay. The long one, we'll put this way. Jody, believe it or not, but the last time I made a kite was when I was a kid. Okay. Okay, and then we'll take the short one and go that way. Then the short string, pass it through here. There we go. Okay, then I just make a little knot over here. This is your kite. Jody, excellent, so I'm ready to fly. Let hope fly. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's see if this thing flies. Woo. <laughs> this is actually harder than it looks. Hey, Michelle. Hello. Bobby, great timing. I need help, please. You stabilize it, put the windsock on. What does the windsock do? It's a piece of fabric that traps the air to so stabilize your kite. Bobby, you come every year. Why is it so important for you to attend? Seeing the beautiful creations of different people from different countries, sharing, teaching, imparting, in order to improve other people's knowledge. That's what it's all about, you know. We're releasing the windsock now. Awesome. Wow, Bobby, look at it go. Wow, it's amazing. Bobby, thank you so much. You really are a lifesaver. Enjoy your flight. Oh, thanks, Bobby. It really does let hope fly. While the kites dance in the sky, cultural troops entertain festival goers on the ground, giving their necks some relief from constantly looking upwards. This year's event drew international kites from countries such as Bulgaria, Germany, Italy, Turkey, the UK and the Netherlands. I'm from the UK, I've been here six times now, and we keep coming back because we love the festival. We like Africa, we like the people, we like the weather, and it also helps to support Cape Mental Health as well, which is important. We traveled all the way from the Netherlands here to Cape Town. I've been to many, many festivals uh, all over the world, and I like this festival in, in Cape Town. 
Just as kiters need a line to keep hold of their kites, hope can be a line to life. This festival truly lets hope fly.